not the Tarsier integral. Okay, so this one is integral from zero to pi by two, x over sine of x dx. Uh, you may notice that this uh, just looks like uh, the inverse of Dirichlet integral, which was like this: integral from zero to infinity sine x over x dx. So this is somehow familiar, familiar to the Dirichlet integral. And if you are curious how this integral is solved. You may find a card over here in the top of the page to follow that and you can uh, get guidance on how to solve this now let's look at this integral which is integral from 0 to pi by 2 x over sine of x dx uh, you might probably know from your high school integral classes that in such cases when we have sine of x over here in the denominator you can just break it down into 2 sine x by 2 cos x by 2 and then you might want to divide numerator and denominator by cos square x. That mostly does bring here tan of x and sec square x over here. So we can make substitutions. So let's try to use that. Uh, it's integral from 0 to pi by 2. x over 2 sine x by 2 cos x by 2 dx. Now we'll uh, divide numerator and denominator by cos square x by 2. So that will give us x sec square x by 2 by 2 tan x by 2 dx. Hmm. Now now we can just lay to uh, tan x by 2 as y okay 0 to pi by 2 just let me make some position that y as tan x by 2 uh, and then we get dy as sec square x by 2 dot 1 by 2 dot dx and we do have here sec square x by 2 by 2 dx integral from 0 to pi by 2 uh, x will now be x by 2 will be tan inverse y or arctan y and then x will be 2 times arctan of y or tan inverse y so you can now substitute that 2 times of tan of y and sec square x by 2 by 2 dx will be just dy and tan x by 2 will be just y so now we have this integral uh, 2 times tan inverse y and we have a, we have forgot to send the limits of the integral when x is 0 uh, y will be tan of 0 so that's just 0 itself and when uh, x is pi by 2 we have tan of pi by 4 so y will be 1 okay 1 so now uh, we can take 2 out since it's a constant 2 times integral from 0 to 1 tan inverse y over y. Now you might uh, recognize that this is a Catalan integral for which I do have a video you can see over here or uh, let me do it for you. Uh, I will directly use the first series expansion for tan inverse y which if you don't know please go to the card over here and you can see in that video but for now if the modulus of y is less than 1 uh, the series expansion of tan inverse y or arctan y is just y minus y cube by 3 plus y to the power 5 by 5 minus y to the power 7 by 7 and so on. So if we use the series expansion the integral will be a lot easier and we can integrate it term by term. Yeah. 2 times integral from 0 to 1 this is y minus y cube by 3 plus y to the power 5 by 5 minus y to the power 7 by 7 and so on over y dy 
and then it's two times integral from zero to one one minus y square by three plus y to the power four by five minus y to the power six by seven and so on and now we can integrate this easily tom by tom hmm and that gives us two times one minus uh, uh, first let me integrate uh, y minus y cube by 3 square plus y to the power 5 by 5 square minus y to the power 7 by 7 square plus y to the power 9 by 9 square and so on and this is from 0 to 1 and now we can evaluate this at 1 and 0 at 1 it's 1 by 1 minus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square minus 1 by 7 square plus 1 by 9 square and at 0 uh, this will all go to 0 and now you might notice that this is just the Catalan's constant series series for the Catalan's constant you know the Catalan's constant g is just some uh, from n uh, greater than equals to 0 and uh, negative 1 to the power n by 2n plus 1 whole square and so this is exactly the cap c which is Catalan's constant so the answer is 2 times g hmm, not the gravitational constant it's Catalan's constant okay so we got that the answer is 2 times Catalan's constant z hope you enjoyed the video and the procedure hope you also understood how we uh, how was our thought process and how we went towards solution if you have any confusion you can comment down below i look forward to seeing you in the next video thanks for watching